Hey Chase, what's up? I just watched your video on outing trans people and why it's not fucking cool. And so I thought I would answer the maybe rhetorical, maybe not rhetorical question that you asked in it, which is why are hetero cis people so obsessed with knowing the status of trans people and, and outing them and all this kind of shit. So I thought I'd take a stab at it. So first off, obviously being trans is not super common you know, it's special. It's very special if someone is brave enough to go and, like, decide, yeah, I'm gonna fucking live my life how I want and how I'm happy instead of trying to please everyone else by dressing as a gender I don't identify as and living that way that won't make me happy, so fuck it. They go for happiness. Awesome. And it's hard. But anyway, people, people are, are, you know, if they find something new and unusual, they have to freak out about it and know every little thing and like, whoa, this is a new thing. I don't know about it. I'm not comfortable. I would never want to be a man instead of a lady. So why does this person? Why, 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 why? And, you know, people are not comfortable nowadays just saying, I don't know, and that's okay. For instance, I don't know why the universe started, and that's okay. I don't have to make up a religion and fill in my gaps with a god, you know? People don't say that. And they should. I say that. But people aren't okay with not knowing stuff. Um, on a much broader level, we are all so entitled to information. At our fingertips and all our smartphones, we can access almost the full information known to man within less than a minute. That's insane. That has never happened in society. So we're so entitled to know everything we want whenever we want. Um, you know, you walk in the grocery store, you see 50 gossip magazines with different pictures of people and this thing about them and who broke up with who and why and blah, 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 blah. What does this guy's wiener look like? And it's like, none, none of your business, actually. Although, you know, I'm guilty of looking at celebrity gossip, too, because I'm like, I want to know, I want to know, and everyone wants to know and gets so goddamn entitled to knowing everything about everyone. You can go on Google, Wikipedia, you can go on Facebook, learn someone's whole family, all their friends, see what they look like, know where their house is, all this shit. People just freely give this information. And when suddenly someone doesn't just freely give this information, people are like, this box has everything numbered and labeled in it and it makes me comfortable, but your box, I can't put you in a box and label and number everything. I don't like that. They get uncomfortable. And they do get uncomfortable for like five minutes and then they ha they feel like they need to fucking know. Um, I'm guilty of doing this and I've been on the receiving end of someone doing this shit. So me being guilty of this, there's someone who runs a certain type of blog online that I follow and they never show their face. They show their boyfriend's face, they show other people's faces, but they never show their face or their tattoos. They go out of their way to either blur their face out and blur their tattoos out or conceal them because they don't want to be identified by that stuff. And so what do I do? I go on Google and I'm like, I need to see what this person looks like. I don't know. I need to know this thing about this person. And, and if I don't, I won't feel comfortable. And then I'll feel comfortable for two seconds. My life will be better if I know what their face looks like. And it's like, actually, no, I had to stop and fucking check myself and be like, no, I don't need to know what this person's face looks like. It's not going to make my life better. And even if there was randomly an image of their face or tattoos floating around the internet and I happened to find it, it would be really fucking rude of me to just go look at it and be like, oh, no, I have this information. My life is so radically different now that I know what this person's face looks like when clearly they did not give me any consent to see their face intentionally hiding their face and I go look them up it's you know and and I make a relaxation videos channel on YouTube and I don't show my face on it because people will send comments about how they jack off to your face and you get a bunch more pervy dirty sexual comments on relaxation videos when you show your face so I choose not to show anything that identifies myself and people get naggy about it and demanding. Why can't I see your face? I really wish that you would show your face because I can't relax if someone doesn't show their face and blah, 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 and why don't you? And I'm like, you know what? If you want to see someone's face in a relaxation video, go to another goddamn channel because I'm not going to just bend my rights over backwards so you can feel comfortable for fucking 2.5 extra seconds. It's not fucking going to happen. 
you know, on this channel, I made a video about why I'm not going to sit and explain all my tattoos to everyone and why I made all these personal choices with my skin and show my tattoos to everyone because everyone keeps asking, can I see your tattoos? Why do you have your tattoos? Can I look at them? What is this? What, 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 what? It's like, you're not entitled to know that. And then I got dislikes on that video because people were butt hurt that I told them that they can't know something about me. People get so butthurt when you violate their sense of entitlement to know everything. We're not entitled to know everything. We're richly gifted with knowledge about the universe and the world and all these different things, but at the same time, we're not entitled to know everything about everyone. So my idea here is that, you know, being trans is like extra special and, you know, more uncommon than other things people get curious about. So people want to dig at it and know and be like, how do lesbians have sex and why did you do this and how come you're not a girl or a boy anymore. It's like, but, but it's really none of your business. Even though we get curious, humans are very curious, it's none of your business. It's new and we don't understand it, so we feel like we have to know, but we really don't. It's okay to say, I don't know, and that's okay. I had to check myself again the other day because I was in a tourist shop in Switzerland to buy Swiss army knives. And the person serving me, I was very certain was trans. And in my head, I was saying, wow, that's so cool that they're trans and they're just working and it's no big deal. And then I was like, maybe they're not trans and maybe they are. And I just shouldn't be giving a shit about this because it doesn't mean anything. It just means that they made a decision to live their life the way they did. And I am also made a decision to live my life the way I do. Everyone does. It's just some people have to take extra steps to get to where they want to be. Um... But yeah, people are just entitled to knowing shit, and we all need to check ourselves. So thank you for making that video and helping me check myself. Um, maybe people will eventually learn that they don't get to know everything about everyone and quit being fucking butthurt about it. Thanks, Chase. I love you. Um, I'm so happy to see you recovering so well from your surgery. And thank you for all your videos and all your hilariousness in general. You're a fabulous person. All right. Take care. I, I hope I the enlightened you on my take on this, if it matters. Okay, bye-bye.